What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about two simple shooting fundamentals that are going to help you with your marksmanship. Now we talk a lot about these in the sniper section because they're critical to long range accuracy, but they're going to transfer just as easily to the M4 and really help you on your qual days. Now small movements down range require even smaller movements on the line. So check it out and I hope these help. How's it going guys? My name is Austin. Um, I'm currently a Bravo 4 certified team leader in a section here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, body positioning here. So one of the key things to delivering long range precision rifle fire is consistency and body positioning really helps with that. Right? First thing we're going to do is um, show you how to position your body onto your rifle here. All right, so got my demonstrator here first thing you want to do you want to have your dominant shoulder here well you want to have that in line with your muzzle all right that's going to help you out with the recoil a lot so when you pull off your shots your foot your rifle will fall right back into its natural point of aim and the shooter will have the you know easiest time to get get line back on the target all right so first thing you're going to do again line that shoulder up with the front muzzle Line it all the way down to his back, all the way down to his buttocks area, all right? And to get a good base, you wanna spread your legs out where it's comfortable for you and sink your heels down to the ground here, all right? Having that body positioning straight in line with the muzzle, if you pull the shot, the, the rifle will naturally bounce up and fall right back into its natural point of aim, all right? As if he was canted. So if you shot like this, the muzzle would bounce up and kind of fall back right into the place. As to where he had his body positioning straight, the rifle would fall right back into its natural alignment, alright? Alright, uh, next thing we're going to talk about is a little bit of your grips, alright, on the rifle. As you can see here, a lot of our guys, we like to use a thumbless grip. Again, that's, you know, all personal preference. For myself, I like to use a thumbless grip. This kind of helps me to get a, a nice, consistent recoil. As if I had my thumb on the opposite side, when you're firing, it's not always consistent wherever your hand's placed, but if you have a thumbless grip, it always goes right into your shoulder. So it's gonna, you know, again, keep consistency with the weapon system. All right. Okay, whenever you're ready. <laughs> this is fucking too much. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. So when you're actually firing your weapon, uh, finger placement on your trigger is really important. You want to use the very tip of your finger and try to avoid using the middle of your finger due to if you had your uh, the middle of your finger on your trigger and you pulled your trigger it'll naturally pull your weapon and throw your trigger squeeze off so your shot grip would kind of generally move a little left or right horizontally right as if you use the tip of your finger it's less pressure beyond, uh, less pressure used and easier on your finger to when you actually pull the trigger. All right, when you're actually ready to shoot, again, using the tip of your finger, you're gonna wanna pull that back slightly, compress the trigger, and let that guy surprise you. Once you let it surprise you, you're gonna go ahead, put it down, release your breath, and you'll hear that metallic click. Let that go, and you should have a clean shot there. And again, you know, this doesn't only apply to long range shooting. You, you know, you could definitely use that on, you know, basic rifle marksmanship also. So again, hope these things helped you out a little bit and see you next time. <laughs>